I went to visit Annette King, who is the child and youth advocate for the Yukon. There were allegations uh, against some group home workers. And the part that interested me the most was about aging out. We've seen in the Child and Youth Advocate Office that aging out of care has consistently been an issue. One adult said to me that the group home system prepared them for jail. Like that would be beautiful to see if they would actually come up with some sort of plan to ensure that these like kids can learn how to function. I know there's like an investigation or review on the group home, so I'm just hoping something comes to good of that. My hope is that it will help for future kids going into foster care and stuff that like maybe someone will actually like listen to them. I knew of young people who were turning 18 or 19 and the day after their birthday it's a handshake and enjoy your life, off you go. My mother never said to me that I'd get thrown out of the house at 18 or 19. I can't even imagine how that feels for a young person. There's absolutely a gap in service right now. I think my message to kids in care is that if you do have issues and concerns, come forward and talk about them because that's the only way the system's gonna change. The young people know what they need and they're telling us. So now it's the obligation of the people that can make the decisions to listen. That's why we're making this video. This is to share the voice of youth and to promote meaningful change. <laughs>